Hello. Hi. You're Professor Kei Hilose yes. of High Pressure Mineral Physics and Petrology at the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Mm -hmm. So could you please describe your career path and mm -hmm. maybe what you're working on at the moment? Mm -hmm. uh, currently, I'm working on the ultra high pressure and high temperature experiments to explore the deep earth uh, structures and dynamics and origin of the planet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I finished, I got my PhD at the geology department mm -hmm. at the University of Tokyo. And uh, at that time, I worked on the very low pressure experiments by using the piston cylinder apparatus, okay. below, only below 3 gigapascals. Okay. And uh, after PhD, I moved to uh, Tokyo Tech as an assistant professor. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I uh, stayed for two years at the geophysical lab at the Carnegie Institution of Washington during 1996 to 98. Okay. And there I learned the uh, new experimental techniques called the laser heated diamond amber cell with which we can produce the very, very high pressure and high temperature conditions corresponding to the deep earth. Okay. And then I returned back to Tokyo Tech mm -hmm. and I promoted to the associate professor and uh, I started uh, synchrotron uh, x-ray diffraction uh, measurements mm -hmm. using the diamond amber techniques at high pressure and temperature at the Japanese synchrotron source of spring rate. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, since then I have been uh, extensively working on uh, synchrotron experiments at high pressure and temperature conditions. Okay, okay. So what did you most enjoy in your career so far? Um, okay, uh, I have three uh, very good events yes. in my careers. The first, during my PhD, I, I developed a new method which, uh, with which we can determine the uh, partial melt compositions uh -huh. of mantle peridotite very precisely. Okay, and we tested uh, many different types of uh, uh, techniques and uh, finally uh, we succeeded in the proper methods, oh, uh, which is my most exciting event yes. during my PhD. Okay. And uh, second, it's, uh, uh, it's, it happens when we discover the post perovskite now it is known as a primary mineral in the Earth's lowermost mantle. Mm. Uh, the bottom several hundred kilometers of mm -hmm. the mantle. Uh, our discovery ha happened through a drastic change in the X-ray uh, diffraction pattern uh, collected at spring weight synchrotron source. And uh, when I first saw the drastic change in the X-ray diffraction pattern, that means a uh, uh, phase change. Okay. I was so uh, excited and I was so happy. Yes. And the third event is when happened when we uh, succeeded in uh, experiment at very very high pressure and temperature conditions uh -huh. corresponding to the center of the earth. It is wow. more than 360 GPA and uh, 6,000 Kelvin. So this is the first time ever uh, the people can uh, conduct such a high pressure and temperature experiments. Wow. Wow. Congratulations on Thank all you. these achievements. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what did you least enjoy now? Uh, if there's anything you did not enjoy. <laughs> okay, so you know, the experimental study is almost, you know, uh, we have more failures than success. Really? Right. So, uh, you know, the most exciting moment yes. uh, happened just, you know, uh, very, uh, not, not often it happens, maybe once or twice uh -huh. a year. So except that moment, you know, that we uh, suffered uh, a number of uh, failures yes. and uh, disappointment. Mm. So yeah, it's a uh, natural thing, yes. you know, for the experimental ones. studies. Mm. Mm. I understand. Yes. Yeah. So how do you see the future of your field evolving? Okay, so we are now working on the deep earth processes mm -hmm. or structures and mm -hmm. dynamics. And uh, for the experimental side, we are now uh, 
uh, we are now able to synthesize any materials inside the earth. Mm -hmm. And now there are still the many things still unknown, in particular about the core. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, we don't know the chemical composition of the earth's core, mm -hmm. which is one of the most important uh, remaining problem okay. in the solid earth geoscience. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the, now we have a tool to explore such kind of uh, important uh, problems. Okay. And now we are ready to do. Oh, so that's exciting. Yeah, yeah it's a, exciting a kind of process, exciting yes. uh, period. Yes, yeah. oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. So this year you have received the EAG Science Innovation Award, which mm -hmm. was named after Ted Ringwood. Mm -hmm. um, what does it mean to you? Oh, it's, first of all, it's a, a great honor, of uh -huh. course. Now, Ted Ringwood is one of the greatest solid uh, scientists. So, uh, yeah, it's a great honor, in particular because it is the first Ringwood Medal. Uh -huh. So I was very happy uh, yes. to receive it. And the second, maybe more importantly, uh, it gives me, uh, it encourages me uh, to do more challenges, really? okay? it, which is more important uh -huh. because, you know, uh, we are now ready to do the lots of uh, uh, exciting uh, experiments from now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this award uh, strongly encourages encourages me to do more. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So finally, what advice would you give to junior researchers? Mm. Uh, I say uh, make a challenge. Yes. I think, you know, the being a scientist is also a big challenge, mm -hmm. right? So uh, why don't you challenge the important topics, mm -hmm. uh, which is the most important and uh, uh, use uh, and uh, variable uh, things for scientists to do. Mm. So make a challenge. That's great. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you.